know about our brains? We know our brains work in a variety of different ways. We know that we have a, a left side of the brain that is structured slightly differently to the right side of our brain. We know that there is a, an intellectual part of our brain, a bit that is really, really good at thinking, at logic, at processing. And there is a bit that deals with emotion. This is called the limbic part of the brain. Okay, we're sitting here, it's nice and quiet and calm and peaceful and a nice bright sunny day outside. What I want you to do is imagine that just outside the door here is a very large and aggressive and loud dog. Okay, it's barking, it's growling, it's snarling, it wants to get in, it wants to attack, it's vicious. We'll start breathing faster, okay? <laughs> Why? Because we want to get oxygen to our brain. We want to get oxygen to our lungs. Your body is preparing to run or to fight. We know that as the fight, flight response. And this is a very, very quick physiological reaction. One of the things that's critical about this, and we have to understand this, is that our brain works at, in different speeds, okay? The emotional brain, the limbic brain that we're talking about, the, the bit of our brain that responds to the wolf works incredibly quickly. The brain finds it very, very difficult to differentiate between the real threat of the animal that is dangerous and a threat that we perceive in the environment around us that may not be absolutely real, that may not be physical, like the dog. So what's this got to do with organizations and change? The answer is simple. We perceive change, we perceive a threat in exactly the same way as we do if it's real. If there's a change taking place in your organization, it will generate the same kinds of responses in your body as if there was a large, angry animal outside the door. It'll be the same. Which is why when you're sitting there and your desk is piling up and your inbox is filling up and the telephone is ringing and somebody's banging on the door wanting, wanting to have a meeting with you, you begin to feel exactly the same tensions. Tim is a great facilitator. He encourages a lot interaction within the course and he's very inspiring, I would say. I really like taking things that are overcomplicated and absurd and trying to reduce them to something that people can understand.